What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade the SSD in your ASUS ROG Strix G15. If that's what you're after, please stay tuned. Okay, so in order for us to get to our SSD, we need to remove the back panel of the laptop. And I have made a detailed video about that and I will leave the link in the description so you can go check that out. Um, and another thing you need to keep in mind that uh, you know doing this and if you damage your laptop it may void your warranty so i hope you keep that in mind um and uh, so this laptop has two uh, ssd m2 slots so you can actually leave the original one in there and buy an additional one which is exactly what i'm going to do with my laptop so it will give me all together um so i have a 500 gigs uh, storage in my laptop already and i'm going to add another terabyte so it'll give me 1.5 terabyte in my laptop so uh, without any more delay let's get started okay guys so our laptop is all disassembled oh at least the back i should say and now we are going to install our hard drive i'm oh, sorry ssd right here so this is the extra straw and luckily it already comes with the m.2 screw as well so yeah we'll do that next okay so here's our ssd i'm just gonna open it up this is our little samsung ssd 970 evo one terabyte and i think they come with like a five year warranty now it's actually a very simple installation i am wearing gloves because i don't want to you know get any dirt or anything on the connections and all you're going to need is a screwdriver which is here okay guys so this is where we are going to install our ssd now wearing gloves just to make sure i don't get any dirt or dust on the connections so let me see if i can zoom in first of all what we need to do is we need to unscrew this screw this is a m.2 uh, screw it's these specific ones even though it looks like a phillips head screwdriver but you're gonna need one of these precision phillips head screwdrivers otherwise the normal ones would just slip you want to undo that screw keep it safe and now we're gonna grab our SSD we're gonna slip it in so you're gonna slip it in on an angle push it in and then we're just gonna rest it there see it's gonna it's got a bit of a spring to it which is why we need the screw and now we're just gonna pop the screw back in to secure a hard drive and this is pretty much it so your hardware side is done now as far as i know i think all we have to do now is to go in the disk management and uh, allocate this one terabyte a name and we should be good to go if you guys have any other questions please leave them in the comment section and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible see you guys it's black and white